Welcome back to Coloring Through the Bible. My name is Keegan Harkins and today I want to talk about all the different ways that we interact within the body of Christ. When we attend church, we are playing kind of a relatively passive role in our spiritual growth. Whoever is preaching has done the work. They've prepared the meal, so to speak. They're, I mean, they're even feeding us that meal and all we have to do is sit there and just eat and allow the, the nutrients that they're sharing from God's word to build us up, make our faith stronger. If we attend Sunday school, that, you know, there's a, still a teacher there, maybe there's a book, and that book or teacher has done the bulk of the work. But maybe there are some questions that we can answer or maybe give an insight to. So it's kind of like we're adding spices to the dish. Somebody else is still cooking it, but we get to flavor it a little bit. Now, if we go to a Bible study that incorporates a lot of discussion into the material, then that's kind of like we get to help cook because we're sharing our experiences, our knowledge, and we're helping make that spiritual meal that we're all partaking in. Now, you may look at that and you may say, wow, you know, I'm doing all three of those things. That's a lot of participation. I'm I'm learning, I'm adding, I'm even helping too, and that's great. This is the, the complete Christian community experience. And maybe even that sounds like a lot. You know, maybe you're not there. Maybe you're not participating that much, and that seems kind of overwhelming. But even if you're doing all of those things, you're still missing a very important part. When we only do those type of things, we're missing the fellowship. You know, fellowship is more than just shaking hands and saying hi as you walk out of church. Fellowship is, it means partnership. When we have fellowship, we have partnership with one another. And think about that from a business point of view. A partner holds equal importance, but they also pull an equal amount of weight. And well, that can be scary. It can be a little bit complicated. It can even get a little bit messy, but it's a cornerstone of our Christian walk. Fellowship is more than just, you know, chit chat with the person sitting next to you. It's investing, getting involved in the lives of our Christian brothers and sisters. It's saying your life is as important as my life. And I'm going to care as much about what you're going through as what I'm going through. And if we use that cooking analogy, fellowship would be a potluck. When we use our gifts, our talents, our struggles, our experiences to help and encourage one another, we're providing something for somebody else. Now, those are the cooking analogy was kind of dorky, but I have an even, an even more dorky analogy, but it really does kind of work. So bear with me. My oldest son and I enjoy sci-fi movies and books. And last weekend, we watched Guardians of the Galaxy. And I know that it's not it's not a new movie, so maybe you've seen it before, but it's, it's this cute sci-fi movie with Chris Pratt and my favorite character, this adorable tree alien that all he ever says is, I am Groot, and he's so cute. Anyway, that's totally not relevant to what I'm talking about, but I'm hoping that I can show you a parallel between our spiritual fight, Christian fellowship, and the last battle scene of Guardians of the Galaxy. So the Bible tells us in Ephesians 6, 12, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. As we go about our lives, we are engaged in a battle, a spiritual battle against evil. So in the movie, there's this evil spaceship that wanted to touch down on the surface of this planet. And then it had a weapon that would kill everything on the surface of this planet. So obviously, the people of the planet mount their soldiers, you know, they get in their little individual spaceships and they go to fight this evil spaceship in their little individual ships. Now, 
they're all using their own weapons and their own shields and maybe one spaceship is shooting its guns and it's right on target and so they're seeing success and the ship next to them maybe they're they're missing their target and their shields are are kind of down or, or not as strong as they need to be and so they're taking on damage now Ephesians 6 tells us that we're not fighting against people but we're fighting against spiritual forces it also tells us that we're not fighting with traditional weapons but it describes for instance our shield would be our faith and our defensive weapon our sword would be God's Word so if we're fighting our own spiritual battles we're holding up our faith and we're fighting off Satan's attack with God's Word now sometimes we're gonna see great success Sometimes we are aiming true, we are on target, we just are seeing great success in withstanding temptations, in, in not being broken down or discouraged. We're just we're seeing a great success in our spiritual life. But then there are times when our shield of faith slips a little bit. Maybe we're getting distracted or we're not using God's word the way that we should or we're not holding to what it says to do. And so we take on damage. Now in the movie, when, when the people realize that their individual attacks aren't working, their ships actually link together to form this net-like barricade. Each ship links to another ship. And together they form this strong net-like barricade. That is fellowship. When we fight the good fight alone, sometimes we see success and sometimes we fail. If, however, we link together with other believers in our community, we become a much stronger barricade against Satan's attacks. Because where I'm weak, you're strong. And where you're weak, I'm strong. And as we join and link our lives together in the partnership of fellowship, we're supporting, we're encouraging, we're teaching, and we're even chastising one another for the benefit of both the individual and the Christian community as a whole. So if I see that your faith shield may be starting to slip, I can share with you from my life. You know, maybe the weight is getting too hard for you and I can share instances from my life where God fulfilled his promises and encouraged you. And if you see that I'm not using my weapon right, maybe I'm not understanding God's word or maybe I'm not living by what God's word says, you can teach me, you can encourage me and train me and that's fellowship. Now we like the happy parts of fellowship. We like that encouraging. We like that, you know, inspiration, the good stuff. But maybe training, correcting, and rebuking don't sound so fun, but they are all important parts of healthy fellowship. Now, Anika from Living for Later has a great video on bearing one another's sins. It's called We're In This Together. I would encourage you to go to her YouTube channel or go to our website, it's Hebrews4Ministries.com, and watch that video. It does a great job of talking about that, those sometimes harder but very necessary aspects to fellowship. So I hope that you have been encouraged today to see the importance of linking together to cooking up a great spiritual meal for another person, for, for placing a high importance on fellowship in your life. We are definitely, definitely stronger and less likely to fall away if we are connected, deeply connected, invested in the lives of our brothers and our sisters in Christ. So my encouragement for you today is to get involved. Don't be satisfied with only receiving. Invest in the lives of the people around you and allow yourself to be invested in. Sometimes that's the hard thing, but open up and let other people in as well as getting involved in their life. Make good connections with the people in your church community. Thanks for spending some time with me today. I hope that you have been encouraged. I really do. 
Have a truly, truly blessed day, and I will see you next time.